Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 27. All right, the previous episode, um, Mickey Hisa, Yo's dad, uh, he confronted Ren and his crew, which is Horo Horo and Chocolove, and he wanted to teach them. Uh, so you know the Cho Senji Rakyatsu and. Obviously, we know how Ren is. He is just like his dad, just like how dad, <laughs> you know, his dad was like, you know, told Miki said that, no, I don't like, you know, like who gives you the right to actually teach my son who has been like, you know, uh, like teaching, uh, like, you know, te who gave you the right to teach my son these techniques? Are you that strong? And we saw how he got beaten down. So what can I say? So ruthless, not ruthlessly, but so uh like easily so <laughs> similarly like that ren as well was like yeah i don't want to teach from you and there was a multiple number of reasons for that as i said i kind of said this in the previous episode because i'm sure the whole thing of like you know like him actually realizing that yo is actually stronger than him and the inability to do something all these stuffs are kind of burning him and him being a person of high pride is that's, that's probably messing with him a lot and that's why like as soon as Miki Hisa said that I'm going to teach you guys he was like no I don't want to like uh, and he started lashing out and decided to confront him fight him and Miki Hisa and Ren started fighting and he's getting very badly beaten now I don't know what's going to happen in this episode but I'm sure that Ren is in no way he will in no way be able to defeat Miki Hisa because Miki Hisa yeah he he's a bit way out of his league at least in his current stage so and we've also seen the whole Miki Hisa's portion as well how he kind of finds it his fault that uh, how was able to run off at that scene uh, at that situation and he blames him in a way so he's very serious about these type of stuff and he doesn't joke around at all so yeah this is serious business for him so yeah let's see like this is kind of like a um, clash of convictions just like how shaman battles goes you know clash, clash of convictions determination so yeah like that's one thing that obviously Ren has a lot determination and conviction but obviously experience kind of matters you know experience and actual power which is something that I doubt Ren is in any way close to Miki Hisa because Miki Hisa has a lot more experience at him than him. So yeah, so yeah, yeah guys, let's just get started. This is episode number 27 of Shaman King. So yeah, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Link it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, this <laughs> just slaps him away. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, here's the thing. I'm quite interested at what Ren is going to do here. What? Oh, he just kicked him. Oh my god. Oh, wait, isn't that a mask? How is it bleeding? Wait a minute, wasn't that a mask he's wearing? How is it bleeding? I'm guessing... I don't know.
Okay. Wait, one thing when uh, like you know this anime started I kind of thought that this would be something like you will be collecting a lot of spirits or something like that and Amida Mano will be like the head spirit or something but like you know like now and now I'm kind of understanding that no it's definitely not something like that <laughs> no because the way when like when I watched episode one and two I, I thought it was going to be something like that <laughs> but yeah this is definitely not something like that it's like, like it's only one spirit so anyways, okay, let's see. Farewell forever. Hmm. No, I don't think anything's... What? Oh. Oh, it's bleeding from his nose. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I'll take it from you. How is... I don't think that's how it works, but... <laughs> oh my god! This is funny. <laughs> he just... <laughs> he attacks him and then he's on the ground. <laughs> and now they're having a barbecue. Wow. Mickey special <laughs> They got bribed by food <laughs> Oh my god, wow Why Ren and not everything doesn't work like that. Oh my god this this kid <laughs> That's what I was saying <laughs> Damn, he's bleeding. <laughs> Self-destructed. Okay. Hmm. Mickey? They're calling him Mickey? Hmm. True. I was also wondering. Oh, okay, interesting. He knows that he won't be able to go further. Wow, that's a really good point that he brought up. They're children, that's why they can improve a lot more. Yeah, that's that means they have a lot more potential to grow. Wow, very well explained. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he was like living inside that bubble, but now the bubble has burst and Hmm Yeah, that, that's perfect for being a shaman like you know <laughs> you know, determination is important and confidence. <laughs> mm -hmm. No time. Oh, damn. Oh, 
<laughs> oh wait what oh oh okay okay these Yeah, there. Hmm. Their house. Oh boy. What? <laughs> um. Wait, who are they? Wait, who are they? Me, they called him Mick. What? Who? Oh! <laughs> Silva, okay. Wait, so he's also participating? Oh, okay, I did not know that. Okay. So those two children are his teammates? Then what are you going to do? Oh my god, this person again. Wow. Oh lord, why? Ah. <laughs> Come on. Mickey, just get this over with. Get this over with, Mickey. That's a bad song. Oh, these two are also here. Oh boy. Okay. They're underestimating him by quite a lot. Oh boy. Wow. Oh yeah, but there <laughs> yeah, true, but we don't, but we don't know about the other two p guys, these two. Hmm. <laughs> Nicro. Oh no. Oh the these girls. Okay. They are really little kids. Uh, 
Uh, oh my god! She's quite calm, the, the girl. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Who? Wait, who's that? Oh, nice! There you go. Oh, Silva warned them. Good. Okay, that's nice. Well, these, uh, this Necrom and the other guy are interfering. Magna, they're interfering. So, Silva can also interfere, you know. What's the problem? Oh, boy, God. Damn, that's... <laughs> it's a panda. Jiang <laughs> Jiang. Oh, don't! Oh my god, the food. The food is gone. Z ah! <laughs> Black Oh my god, he just broke. Oh, what the? Come on, you guys also. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Come on, you guys also fight. Why are they standing like that? Ooh. Wow, this this is quite easy. Damn, two of them are down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. All right, you can predict it. Oh. Shamanic Oracle. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Huh, <laughs> yeah. A loss is a loss. Why? Don't be petty. What? Oh boy. Hmm. Oh god. Yeah, true. Wait, what? The tower? Wait, wait, I need to check that out again. Ooh. 
Wait, what? Oh no, wait, what? What the hell? Supported by our friends. Oh no. Wait, what? Why are they standing? Come on. What? Well, I I'm sure he'll be fine. What? Do we have someone who can heal him? Um, Foss can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it enough? Oh, no, not enough. Hopefully someone will come and help. Oh. Oh, okay, nice, nice. The, the bleeding is stopped. Yeah, they, they were not actually trying to defeat them. They were just trying to distract them, I guess. How, how are we supposed to get out of here now? Unless and until someone comes and helps. Oh, efficient. Okay, okay. What the? Uh, 
Um, please don't end here. I don't want a cliffhanger. Oh no, what is this? What? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Why cliff? Oh my god. Great. Okay, so, okay, at that time, I, I, I was unable to kind of, uh, the time when uh, the guy was saying my brother was killed by Ren, I wasn't able to uh, properly concentrate and I wasn't able to properly catch up with what he was saying. But now I realized what he was saying. He, so basically, those officials, you remember from one of those previous episodes that Ren killed, one of them was his brother. Okay. All right. <clears throat> like, I remember at that time, I, I kind of said something like, yeah, like he didn't need to kill them. But at that time, Ren was obviously lo a lot different than what the type of person he is now. But still, the thing that he did at that time was definitely not correct. You know, killing people is like in whatever circumstances is not justified and like unless and until it's self-defense but still like he you know like at that time he was a very troubled individual so yeah he did wrong at that time but uh, i don't know anyways okay so Damn, this episode started in a very chill way and then suddenly it became something else. <laughs> okay, so here we see uh, Ren and Mikihisa. Ren... <laughs> Ren was like, yeah, I'm going to defeat you. He kind of, you know, like jumps up and then suddenly there's a transition and we see <laughs> Ren on the ground. Defeated by Mikisa and they're having a barbecue. Wow. Okay, and now Here's one thing that was quite interesting the way uh, Mikisa kind of explained it Like I've also been thinking about this like, you know, like that They now I can kind of understand the whole thing with the patch officials as you know, they are neutral. They won't actually you know, official like, you know participate in this whole thing uh but one thing that i really wasn't able to wrap my like you know uh head around is that excluding the patch officials what about the other people why are they not trying to stop how instead they're just giving everything like you know all the responsibilities putting all the hopes and aspirations on the kids like why even I, I kind of thought about it a lot of times uh, and thanks like, you know, in a good way here Mikisa kind of explains the reason behind that and it's quite an interesting uh, thing that he brought up and it's, it's it's quite believable as well you know like what he says is that these you know they they have actually grown and they have been able to reach the upper threshold of their power and they know they won't be able to go beyond that they know their limit and what Mikisa said is that as time goes on as you gain more experience you will actually be able to see it and the day you're able to see that ceiling that threshold that's the day you know that yeah this is my limit and the children they they don't have that currently they have a lot of more time to grow and at their age they're immensely powerful so imagine the amount that they will be able to grow further so instead of the adults trying to go and stop how they're actually trying to make the kids ready for the future where they will be able to surpass how and hopefully defeat him so that's why it's, it's it's he explained it in a really nice manner and in a very 
you know, believable way. Like, it's not that, you know, like, this, this has quite a, uh, what can I say? Like, yeah, the thing that he explained is, like, I can understand it. Like, you know, like, there's, if you know, like, there's this whole thing of, I think, like, a lot of animes kind of bring this up, is that as generations pass, not only in anime, this, I think this kind of applies to everyone in our real world as well. Like, as the generations kind of go, like, you know, like, increase one after the other, all the generations that succeed you are in some way a little bit superior to the generation behind them. You know, this is called evolution, you know, advancement. Like, for example, we, our generation is a bit you know some way like you know some way or the other a bit advanced than the generation before us and similar to that the generations that will come after us will be in some way more advanced and more superior to our generation and this will go on and that's what is actually like you know like it's kind of same in anime as well like every generation as we can see kind of like gets a power boost in a way that's why the current generation that is this generation yo and ren's generation they will be able to go a lot further beyond for example like if uh, miki hisa uh if he has like what can i say like i'm i'm, I'm just saying that if he has like a hundred power you know uh and if that's like his limit a hundred is his limit uh yo and ren's generation they they'll probably be able to go further beyond that maybe they'll be able to reach 150 or 200 and this is not only for them the generation that will succeed yo and uh, ren's generation they'll be able, able to go even further beyond them probably like 300 or something i don't know i kind of see it like this that's why you know like that's why usually uh these like you know these characters these adults they usually train the children to actually become more stronger and he explains it in a really nice way he says that yeah we are able to see the ceiling this is our threshold we won't be able to get stronger so for children like you who has a lot more room to grow yeah you'll be able to do it that's why we kind of give like you know kind of put everything on your shoulder they know that it is kind of harsh because they the children you know but nothing you can do about it anyways um that was that and then uh <clears throat> okay and then in comes the patch efficients and here's one thing that i was quite surprised about is that mikisa is also fighting in the tournament i did not know that and he has this two teammates with him i wonder what their power is you know like uh we'll see and okay now in comes the patch efficiency and also like you know in that in yo like you know yo and anna they they were informed by silva to quickly go to the um those those two kids i don't remember their name the the, the two kids who are like the mikisa's teammates to go to them and help them now one thing i kind of noticed there is just a sec uh where is that mm. okay all right uh when they were being attacked by those trio of girls you know those three girls who were in house team uh the characters who actually comes to save them are anna uh what was the sister's name i forgot you know, the, the, like those three. And Yo was not with them. So I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing. I think Yo probably is tr going towards um, Ren, you know, going towards Ren. And now that Ren is in a pinch, Ren, Horo Horo, and um, Chocolove are in a pinch. I think Yo is probably, probably in the next episode will happen. Yo will probably try to go to them and help them. That's what's probably going to happen. Because Yo was together with them when Silva uh, warned them. And here, uh, like, you know, like, Yo is not here. Like, you know, not present here when they come to save uh, the girls. Uh, no, not the girls, sorry. The girl and the boy, the kid. The, the, both the kids. So I'm guessing Yo kind of changed direction and went towards 
rent steam hopefully and i'm soon i'm sure that soon enough uh mikisa will also reach uh the two kids you know his teammates so i i don't think anything much will happen to them because yeah like they're only those three girls however strong they are uh, i doubt when if mikisa is able to reach them in time i doubt they'll be able to do anything because mikisa is quite strong so we'll see we'll see in the next episode and uh, all right okay now for the main fight that is uh ren versus those three now one thing that really i don't know like uh, it's kind of weird was Horohora and Chokolov was standing all the time now one thing I'm guessing the reason why they were standing there is probably because Ren said something like let me handle this I think that was probably the reason why they were just standing there and I'm guessing Ren was so fast in actually defeating them that they they didn't actually like you know have any time to do anything so they were really just standing there for like you know all the while Ren was fighting but still, I don't know, like, I, I, I feel as if, like, if they actually, like, you know, uh, I don't know. Yeah, if they actually, like, you know, like, went into Oversoul and tried to fight alongside Ren, maybe he could have avoided the mortal blow. Who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure. But still, like, and, and, and another reason why I think Ren got that mortal blow is because he underestimated them and i don't blame him you know why because at the beginning it like you know like the whole the way the whole uh, fight played out is he just went there and defeated two of the characters so easily like you know the panda guy and the other guy he just like bam bam he just defeated them and i was like oh my god like yeah this is just easy and i'm sure that also probably like made ren also think something like that and he probably underestimated them just like i did and then suddenly they suddenly say that oh like yeah this is not over yet suddenly stand up and like yeah stuff happens and ren is like you know impaled by that thing and another thing that probably uh yeah that the two are those two are the main reasons obviously like you know like the his underestimating his opponents and the biggest reason is the whole thing of the uh like you know when when that uh, patch official says that taurin who killed his brother chrome the efficient wouldn't have uh spared uh, yeah the, that you know ren killed the brother and that startled him for a second there <clears throat> and that's the opportunity that the other guy took pit pit what was his name pitchy i can't remember the skeleton guy no uh that's the opportunity that he took to actually defeat him and like you know just impale him with the big big knife thing now in a way he kind of caught him off guard i guess and that's why probably ren was injured so badly if he was not startled at that moment he probably could have avoided it avoided it probably wouldn't have get a mortal wound probably would have gotten some kind of uh big injury but it would probably not be that much of life threatening but yeah that that whole sentence kind of startled him at that moment okay th this like you know like at the, when the anime was going at that moment i really wasn't able to catch what they were saying uh, here's it the tau ren who killed his brother chrome the efficient wouldn't have spared our lives mm. and so this patch efficient he his brother was one of the characters who died in you know when shaman king started the first few episodes uh if i can i can, I can remember that there was an episode where uh ren actually kills a few people and yeah that's the guy and when okay this portion my brother chrome was too lax during the prelim so much that you know
No, 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 wait, 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 just a sec. Oh, prelims. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that was him. Oh, all right. I was like, wait a minute. Why is he saying prelims? And I'm, I was kind of like, you know, confused at that for a second there. Like, okay, prelims, they're talking about the prelims, like everything that happened before, like, you know, when Ren and um, Yo was not that much of any good friends. They were like, you know, kind of antagonistic towards each other that time yeah it's like you know that time so yeah i'm, I'm, I'm right that it's one of those that episode where uh, we get to see like rain kill one of the official member uh, like an you know, officiants and you know silva comes in and uh, was it that guy i'm not sure you know silva comes in and like he was silva's friend or something one of those guys okay yeah and that time we kind of know how ren was ren was kind of like a yeah like very unstable like just killing people left and right but after that, like, you know, like, he changes little by little, but, yeah, and I'm guessing, you know, like, this, this thing startled him, because he suddenly remembered what he was before, you know, the type of person he was before, which is something, I think, that probably burdens him still, like, they don't show us here, but I'm sure that his past self still burdens him now, like, now that he is a good character. Whenever he remembers his past, he, he, he probably gets burdened a lot. And that's, like, you know, suddenly bringing that up really startled him for a moment there. And he just gets impaled by the big skeleton. I doubt it would have happened if he was at a normal state of mind then. That, that, that really caught him off guard. And this guy, he just took that opportunity. And the thing that they say here is, like, it's an interesting thing that they say. They say that... You should have killed us, you know, like you, when you had the chance of doing so. This skeleton guy, you know, in, in during the fight, he said that, yeah, you, you should have killed me. You didn't. That's why you're going to suffer now. These two guys who got defeated by Ren today, like in you know, this episode, they also said that you had your chances of killing us, but you did not. And, and they're also surprised because this Ren is definitely not the same Ren that, like, you know, that killed um chrome i think that's what he called him the uh, the guy who died uh he's saying that yeah this ren is definitely not the same guy who killed uh chrome so yeah this also shows the change he had gone through like nowadays he doesn't just like you know just kill people left and right so but yeah like the, that kind of you know that whole sentence kind of caught him off guard and yeah anyways so in a way it kind of feels as if these guys are too strong but i don't think they're too strong you know like all these things that were happening here most of the things like actually caught them off guard because ren like you know being in this state now it's basically because he was caught off guard that's number one number two after that scene uh, when they start fighting with the other two characters, uh, it seemed as if Horohoro and Chokolov were losing against them, but they were actually doing everything to distract them so that they are able to take Ren back, seal the wound with ice, and make a little ice shield so that the attacks don't hit them. And that's what they were doing. They were actually not trying to fight them or defeat them. They were actually trying to distract them so that they could get Ren out of that thing and that really shows in a way i think like if they all of them actually fought for real ren chokolov and horohoro and ren did not get distracted the whole match would have probably been a draw or like you know ren's team could have probably overpowered them but a few things actually like you know kind of brought everything down you know ren being injured is the biggest blow that they like you know horohoro and chokolov got and yeah, it's a problem now. Now they're kind of really in a bad position. So. Oh boy, I, I wonder how what's going to happen. Like, um, as far as I could, like, you know, as far as I think, I'm guessing Yo will come here. Because as I said, like, you know, in, in that scene, Yo was not with Anna. But Silva also, like, you know, when Silva warned them, Yo was there with Anna. So Yo must have gone somewhere else. Where did he go? Most probably he's trying to come here. So probably in the next episode, 
I don't know whether they'll be able to get out of the situation themselves. I doubt that's possible because they have an injured with them and they themselves are quite injured. So probably Yo will have to come in and Yo will have to give them a hand. But we'll see what happens in the next episode. So <clears throat> yeah, that's it. That was this episode. So damn, things suddenly became so like I was not expecting something like this happening so suddenly. And uh, yeah, like I'm I'm sure like Ren will be fine, like you know, but if they, they're able to get him back soon, Faust is there, she can he can help. So But the injury looked really serious, so I don't know uh, I don't know how much time it'll take for him to heal. But yeah, I'm sure Faust will able to help be able to help him. But they need to get out of this as, as soon as possible. So yeah, hopefully the next episode. We'll see. So that's it guys. So thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to Shaman King episode number 27. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.